government. Adopted in 1981, U.S. Woodland, or M81 Woodland as it's designated in the military, was the standard issue camouflage pattern for the BDU all the way until the early 2000s when it began to be phased out. It is a high contrast camouflage pattern, which consists of four colors, green, brown, black, and sand, giving it a very iconic look, as it is one of the most popular, if not the most popular camouflage pattern in the entire United States. M81 Woodland is still used by a number of countries today, who purchased the surplus off of the United States after we switched to a kinder and more gentler camo pattern. M81 is still today a very highly effective camouflage pattern. Because of its contrast nature, it is able to break up the silhouette of almost anyone wearing it, even the fatties. Because of the long service history, as well as the effectiveness of M81, a massive amount of gear was printed with this pattern. Today, surplus can still be found relatively easily and for a decent price, which makes this the ideal starter setup for any stalkers out there. I mean, it's kind of the coolest thing ever. I like to watch too much Black Hawk Down. The uh, Black Hawk Down, Black Hawk Down, Fallujah footage, I watch too much of it. I'm just pissed that they don't have woodland in the desert and shit. So what do we got for, uh, what's this Bench Queen rifle? Um, it's something called Shikar 14, you know, the guy that got the Medal of Honor, that's why I, you know, picked it out. What else do you want to know? What Everything. model is this with the pocket? This, this is GI yeah, issue. I mean, yeah. it's, it's so where else can you go to a surplus store and become an airborne ranger, dude? For that's, eleven dollars. That's a real patch, dude. That's eleven dollars. I'm an airborne ranger. And you were ranger. a captain? I mean, that's yeah, of like armor, dude. I think. Yeah, that's that's Cav. I mean, you oh. you were yeah, dude. See that? You've been everywhere. For $11, I've been everywhere. You got everywhere. your CIB. You got everything, man. So $11 gets you... Qualification. And it's Stetson. Yeah, tell us about the mods. What are the mods here? This looks... Um, it has a zipper in there, so I can put a elbow pad. So when you go prone, you'll fuck up your elbows and die you, out in the zone. How do you roll your sleeves? You don't do it. So, what's, so we'll start on the outside. So what, what have we got on the outside? You no, know, I got some, I got some chem lights here for you know, you mark in your position whenever you get overrun and you call airstrike to kill yourself. Got my smoke, access, lighter, pouch, this pouch is for you know, my Skittles and extra mags Skittles and my extra balaclava. Sometimes you gotta double up. Yeah. Well, I gotta eat, so I got the whole one, so without someone seeing my face. It's true. It's true. Uh, I got my mags. How many mags are you rocking? Uh, four. And I got... Four total? And I got... got two on the back. Okay. Mags. Yep. Butt mags. Got two my, canteens. I got my radio, the call, and the airstrike. Okay, you got the, the switch and everything. Okay, well, let's see the... Take this off. Let's see the... Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the sweat. And you have plates in that too? Yep. Right there. Oh yeah, okay. That's it. Somebody cares about his life. He must not have much debt. Because he cares about staying alive. Walk us through here. What do we got for the sleeves? So we got this here, the pads. Yeah, I got some uh, ACU pads. My trusty Beretta. How does, how does my... M81 stack up? I think so. I mean, because I saw a video recently saying that this is basically the best camouflage pattern for a terrorist. Well, one man's yeah. terrorist is another man's freedom fighter. I mean, I tried to, the persona of Manuel Noriega. I think I pulled off. The, I like the faded look. Beans looks a little nicer. I like it when your trousers don't match the top. Yeah. Then you know it's thrift store bought. That's true. So, how much did this cost you? I think I bought it for, it's probably like 10, in all honesty, probably 10 bucks when I was probably 15 years old. 15 years old. So with inflation, that's like $200 now? Yeah, for the least, pants? At least. Alone? At okay. Least. At least. And then, uh, you know, you got your pockets, but you don't put anything in them. Yeah, you never use those. And then, uh, yeah. 
I mean, you can roll the sleeves for regulation. Yeah, those those are definitely regulation rolls. I like to call these ranger rolls. How much did the ranger tab cost you? I, mean, I don't know. I was on it when I bought it. <laughs> Dude, that's a deal. That's what I'm telling you. I don't know why more people just don't become rangers by buying old BDU tabs. I mean, all the stolen valleys out there. You it's, just gotta it's go for buy the it. taking. You really. just gotta go buy it. I really like what you're doing here. What what is this? This is a high quality weapon. Yeah, this is my uh, Pimento. Pimento Anderson. Pimento. Pimento Anderson AR-14. And that stands for assault rifle. 14. That's because that's how many bullets it shoots per millisecond. Well, because I only got a 14 round mag. That the, is yeah. So YouTube. we got the YouTube approved and it's empty. Magazine. It's empty. Yeah. Okay. It is. It is empty. Oh, okay. Well, I was I was scared before, but not now. So, so I really like that optic. What is that? Dude? That looks like a very high quality. That's a expensive. That's a gal turd. That's a gal turd. Isn't that the one that if you bump it, it changes the zero? Uh, uh, uh. Yes. Okay. That's yeah. because you don't want to be predictable. Yeah. You don't want your enemy to know what you're doing. Oh. So if you constantly change the zero by whacking it on the side of a, you oh, know, zero. burn barrel. Yeah. How's your enemy supposed to know where the bullet's going if you don't? They can't. It's OPSEC. That's OPSEC, it's dude. Opsec. That is peak OPSEC. For this militia, it's imperative. Listen, listen, everything we do is about OPSEC. 